you need to have a you need to have a very very good relation with the teacher the teacher should be the core or heart of the school and you should spend maximum time to develop the teacher and this is the teacher center relationship so but our most of our schools what i have found is the teachers they are taken as the classroom tools only teachers are taken at the classroom tools only and we don't use teachers for non classroom activities i can give example decision making we don't need to do them the parents keep calling uh, today nepal banda nepal banda or not the teacher has no information principal first first dial the parents then they dial the teachers as a class teacher so i felt so embarrassed so i asked the principal am i not the part of the system of this school if parents call me what will i say so the one and the one is distributive leadership i think most of Uh, us are acknowledged with this thing if your school has only one leader then it truly lacks leadership it's not about having one leader in your school it is called the distributed leadership leadership must come from many many places and leadership is not a one man band it must come from many many places many many corners inside the school and trust me it does not start with the school principal and does not end with the teacher so in this two leadership we all are talking about not about leader but about leadership and it should come from many many places so i think we can work on self leadership because until and unless you make yourself you can make others until and unless you discover yourself you cannot discover the teachers you cannot discover the parents you cannot discover the students so this self leadership is or not is a non new concept 1980s concept but so many schools are adopting this principle so i think if we have time we can work on this uh, self leadership also and it will be uh, a very very effective mode to transform your school so these things you are very very familiar so i will only discuss the number 2 incurring encouraging the use of data and resources so all other things we are familiar with so number 2 and number 8 refining and aligning the organization and number 2 encouraging the use of data and resources so number 8 is very important refining and aligning the organization so your students need to know now i am working with some schools and i take them to one science exhibition of dubai virtual so the students were so happy i took them to one book exhibition of turkey virtual too so the students were so happy so find the aligning the your organization with the abroad good schools with the good schools in nepal so spend some time at least half an hour 20 minutes a day to align your organization very very wonderful organizations are there to support your school uh, in one school where i worked so the student themselves they form the ngo they align with the few donor outside nepal and now they are working pretty pretty fine in nepal ganj so i think you need to align your resources keep some time for it and the second encouraging the use of data and resource so resource most nepali schools and nepali teacher i found they lack the resource so we need to find why students are weak in study we need to find out there is not only one reason there might not be only one reason so every student can read the word i have seen students the class 10 they cannot read properly they cannot write long answers social studies parents from james parents from ele they call me i have organization sir please my my son my daughter teach them for one week take with you 
And I asked them, you have paid money to big schools for 10 years. He has learned nothing. And how can I teach uh, your kid in a week? How can I make a master? So research on how students learn is very, very important. And use of data. So these things you need to work upon. I think if you can Google these things, easily available. So you can work on this tool. For other things, you all are familiar with these things. Uh, so you know it too much. So this three, so after identifying the problems, now the solution comes, the three level of development. And it should happen in a sequence. This is not what I am saying. This is what the research has told us. After reading numerous volumes of book, numerous research, I have came to this conclusion. So you should start with the foundation because it is very easier to catch the fruit, but it is very difficult to cultivate the roots. So you start with the foundation, go with the development, and the last one is the enrichment, these three processes. Foundation, improving the physical environment first. Second, setting standard for people behavior and attendance. Without those things, you cannot change other inputs. Third, restructuring and redefining the senior leadership team and roles. So until and unless senior leadership team is handled, you cannot bring the change in this. So these are the foundation and the development. We can do distributive literacy where every one of the teachers participate. In big schools, every teachers, they are in the committee, some this committee or that committee. But in smaller schools, they don't want to be in the committee because if the committee often form without knowing what is the tax. They are appointed, they are assigned. The teachers don't choose the committee, the principal choose the committee. Big MNCs, if you see the history, if you see the record, the boss never choose the committees. No participatory efforts. And third one is the enrichment. And this should happen at the last phase of development, not before, not before the foundation, not before you change, you restructure the role and of the school, don't change the curriculum, redesigning the curriculum. One is personalized and second one is enrichment of curriculum. I think you are familiar with this term. First personalized, the textbook, curriculum, and then second, the enrichment of curriculum. What we do, ECA and CC, all these things, we also call this curriculum these things. So we are people who need time to change. So my humble request to all of you is dream, don't drown in a plant. If you put all water in one day, it will drown. So put dream, one dream, two dream. And I think changing is cool is also same. Don't try to change everything at once. If you change two rabbits, you will cast none. So go with the phase, go with the phase, one, two, three, this month, second month, third month. And I think you need to work on these things if you want to change your school. Improving the physical environment, very, very important. Restoring the teacher's role, it's very important. Uh, so we are people. We need time, so don't give 10 feedbacks a day to a teacher, so they need time, so drip and slowly, 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 you can see the improvement in the school. So the teachers also, the same problem, when they first went to the school, they have that energy. They give all suggestions, all advice, they are ready to give all, everything, when they first join the school. But slowly, they stop crying and they do the line. You may have seen with some of the teachers, when they first join the school, they're so energetic, but along the line, they lost their passion for teaching. 
they're tired with their life, they're tired with the student behavior, they're tired with the parents' concerns, they're tired with the administrative concerns. So the resource says 70% of the workforce in the world, it is disengaged, dissatisfied, or maybe uncommitted to work. And it's not only the teachers. Look, it is reverse. The principal also same. The principal is also tired of the teachers. The teacher has no passion. The teacher has no ownership of the work. Both are tired. The principal is tired because of teachers. The teachers are tired because of the principal. The synergy is there. So, and the dysfunctional work environment is created. So when the teachers feel their suggestions are ignored, they are there just not to use their creative idea, but they are there to follow the instructions. If their creativity and innovations are unappreciated, the teachers will lose the race. Because we are motivated, must, in, higher, in master's law of hierarchy also, it stands at the top. They need to felt recognition. I think most schools lack that purpose, lack their mission, lack their energy. So performance it is all about motivation, the attitude and the settings. Settings is how the classroom is, how the school is. These are the settings, the attitude and the motivation. I think if these three things work, so certainly there will be performance. So this functional work environment to make it functional, to make it functional, the teachers, the higher blood of the institution should be purely motivated. They should be full of positive attitude and they should get the conducive environment work settings to work with. So these three things, even if you are an exceptional leader with exceptional talent, exceptional degree, you will 100% fail as a school leader. Even if you have succeeded, even if you have failed, I have succeeded. But that is, as I said before, the crossing is, the school looks good, the student look good, but they have not got the real thing that the student should get. So these things we need to cure. And most people, they leave, the teachers leave. So we have also so big problem these days. The teachers, they join, they come for one month, second month they leave. They don't continue for long term in one school. They are not committed to their job. I think the, it is all because of the school leaders. They don't value the employee contribution, what they have done to the schools. They don't recognize their contribution. The problem is with the boat, but the leaders, they blame the water. There is a hole in the boat, the water come inside and they said, oh no, they blame the water, no. Not providing good ongoing communication, timely performance feedback appraisal, we don't have most schools, 99% of schools of Nepal, they don't have performance appraisal system still. That corporate culture is not still inherited. I'm very sorry to say, only one school I see, they have very good performance. It, the schools may be bad in other things, but these things I really appreciate about them. The Millsbury School, they have this performance appraisal system. Uh, I saw their files because I have an SR company. So every teachers they are appraisal. Other things may be bad, but I'm not sure about it, but they have the system. 360 degree uh, employee performance appraisal. We, we need to do that. And little, because the employer after two years, they will know how much their salary will be increased. Through. And little potential for career development. We don't give that big dream to the teachers that their career can be developed in the schools or in this education sector especially primary teachers, teaching in the same class, nursery KG one for 12 years, where the career development doesn't see need, doesn't see uh, need to be a principal of some schools, doesn't need to be a trainer. 
does not we need to develop her to become a very good person with high income is not it the duty of the school because she has contributed so much time for us you need to develop people before developing system before developing is you need to develop the people you need to show them the bright futures find their potentiality all teachers also leave if they find if their school don't give them challenging position and they find more challenging position outside with more compensation with more benefits they also leave and most the last but not the least the very important thing if they don't have any meaningful relationship with teachers and principals they leave the schools they like the schools so it's not good every month the teachers new teachers are coming showing their face new student what will the parents say what will the community say it's not good at least in the teachers on over should be stability more and more teachers should not leave the organization is not a very good sign so you need to develop some system so that at least teacher will work for at least two academic sessions or three academic sessions like that and these days i think many schools they are drain of the shortage of talented teachers no one wants to work in the private school most of them don't want to work in the private schools for months the schools they haven't got the good teachers it's a very big problem so you need to work on this thing also so great leaders they are not fine these things in the teachers ninety five percent of our time the great leader thinks about solving a problem and only five percent most of the time we only talk about the problem this problem that problem that parent that teacher We didn't talk about finding the solution in Google. Trust me, Google company. You can do some research. You cannot talk about the problem. You are not allowed to talk about the problem. You need to find the solution. And ninety-five percent of the time, you need to work on the solution. Not talking about the problem. I have seen many leaders even talking bad about the teachers, even talking bad about the founders. They need to be a solution finder. So, if you want this thing, the in your organization, any organization, not only in your organization, more leadership. You are more active. You are unable to delegate. Means your organization is less professional, less leadership. That is. Less, more delegation means your organization is more professional. Always remember this thing. So use teachers to decide. I was reading about one principal of Hong Kong, a very good school. I forgot the name. I was reading in the news. His business card had one line written. I don't know anything. Please suggest me something. I didn't have anything. Please suggest me something. The teacher will read it. The teacher will find the solution. So, in whatever organization it is, it is not the investment. It is not about the investment or capital. It is not about technology. It is about the people that will save the organization. So make that conducive environment if you are later uh, to the teachers. Tell them to give feedback. Tell them to share the talent. Also provide support to them if is it possible. But what we do is we have the dawning trouble effect. This dawning trouble effect is very important in psychology. What it says is. If you know less about something, you are more confident. This is dawning effect. You, you don't listen to others. You think whatever you say is correct. You are only correct in this world, and no, no one is correct. 
your thinking way is 100% right. This is turning problem effect. And the resource says 83% teachers, if they are promoted to being a, a principal or leader, they suffer from this dunning progress effect. Their ears are closed. In the meeting, the principal will be the one who will speak more. The teachers will just listen. So I am working with Akshara School also, Anju Bhattra, ma'am. So I'm giving relevant example, but don't take it personal. So I attended a few meetings. What she does being a school leader? No, in the meetings, only teacher will speak. She won't speak a word. She will just listen. It's what I'm not ghosting anyone's schools here. I'm sorry, I'm just giving the example. You should listen. No dunning progress. You should have the imposter syndrome. In psychology, imposter syndrome means you know more more, but you should less. This is every leader need to have this imposter syndrome. If you want to take your school, make your school number one. And if you have the qualities of leader, you can make it. You can see how Akshara school has started from how many students. You can see LA, Little Angels schools, how many from how many schools students he has started. So there is some quality in those people. We have made a school very big, but we are just full of excuse. Success and excuse, they will never come together. If you begin making excuse, the parents are like this, the locality is like this, the government is like this, the uh, lockdown has made it like this. No success. Okay. This is my, as I said in the before also in the training, you should not agree with what I say. This is my personal view. Okay, now I think you are tired of listening. So I think I should go with any one of you voluntary. You can, please, who wants to help me out? Yes, sir, I'm ready. What so, I have to do? Man or name? Uh, I am Krishna Man or name? Oh, good, good, good. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Krishna Sar, so just tell me one thing. Uh, maybe my friends also, they want to hear from you. Uh, in Greece, uh, the Spartan warriors, they are one of the fastful warriors of the world till now. They are very, very good warriors. So you can see the weapon here in the picture. You can see the weapon and you can see the seal. Yes, sir, yes. So, yes, if the Spartan warriors, they lost their weapon in the battle, if they lost their weapon in the battle, no punishment for them no punishment for them. But if they lose the seal, sir, sir? Sorry, sir, your sound was the seal, uh, distorted. Why? Sir, will, will you repeat, please? Okay, okay, okay. But I, I will repeat. I will repeat it. Yes, sure, sure. My pleasure. My... Sir, we are unable to hear you. Uh, you can just repeat the question. I have understand the uh, about the Spartan warriors. Internet. Is it fine now, sir? I reconnected my internet. Is it fine? Yes, sir. It's fine. Yes, good, good. Wonderful. So, Spartan, the fearful warriors of the history, what they have is they have these weapons. If they lose their weapon during the battle, yes, sir. No punishment for them. No punishment for them. But if they lose, immediately they will be killed. They will be killed. Immediately they will be killed if they lose their seal. This seal. You have seen seal in his hand. Yes, sir. They will be immediately killed. But if their weapon is lost, this weapon is lost, they won't be killed when imposed by Spartans, the facial wires. Yes, sir. 
you can guess these are open ended questions because if they have uh, if they lose their shield then uh, no need to give points and sir they will surely die <laughs> It is hundred percent sure that uh, they no will die. punishment. They will surely die, right? Yes. Uh, why, Krishna sir? Why do you think so? <laughs> why? Why do you think so? Uh, because in war, the opposite team will hit them, and if they cannot defend themselves, I think surely they will die. Yeah. So yes, good, very good, wonderful. Any other uh, major friends, please. You can, this is, these are open-ended questions, so you can try. So I'll give my view. Lakshman sir, Umesh sir, Minu ma'am, why are so many silent faces here? I want you to speak up. Uh, I think I made you bored today. <laughs> uh, because uh, it is only the thing that uh, might save the warrior, isn't it, sir? It's good, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so to be more concrete, what I will say is, this way will only save him, but this shield will save not only him, but his friends also. save not only him, but his friends, because it is for other, his friends, other warriors also. If you lost the weapon, no punishment. If you lose the self, you will be immediately killed by this pattern. So they were very, very fierce warriors. Even if the song, so we have to protect our team. We have to always protect our team. This is the basic. Uh, Uh, now, who want to help me? Uh, maybe Arjun sir, I have not. Arjun sir, are you fine? Do you want to help me or Anita ma'am? Yes. So, anyone of you voluntarily, okay? First, I'll raise the one keys. So, APJ Abdul Kalam. So, when I was reading his biography, I came to a very interesting thing. He is the, he was the ex president of India, very wonderful person. So this is how the leadership should be, I think. So his driver was driving his car. Now he is the professor of one of the reputed school of University of India. A gardener was, when he was in the presidential office, during his tenure, there was one gardener. He inspired him to read books and now he is one of the school teacher, not in India, in the USA, you can source in Google also. He inspired so many people around him doing a very, very medical job in the presidential office and he helped them to become professor, to become teachers. Such a wonderful person he is, he was. So I think we all need to have that quality as a leader. How many people you can inspire? How many people their life was changed by your effort. Are you giving one salary on time? Or you are giving them the keys of life to become successful in life? That is the major question. So when he was the president, when he was a scientist in 1980s, so he was working under one leader. He said he was very inspired from him. So he was working under one leader. Satish Dhawan is his name. So they were experimenting the first satellite in India, Rohini. But unfortunately, that satellite, it failed in the Bay of Bengal. See, they were unsuccessful. And the leader of that group, ISRO group, Indian government satellite group, Satish Dhawan, the leader, organized a press conference organize a press concepts and he says, it is all my fault. I'm so sorry. I could not launch satellite in the space, Indian satellite in the space. 
despite huge effort, despite huge work, despite huge Indian government investment, I'm so sorry. And he cried in the first press conference, tears in his eyes, very emotional moment. And after a year, again, they worked hard, the whole day and night. And they were successful in launching the rocket satellite. He called APJ Abdul Kalam and he said, APJ Abdul Kalam, today you conduct the press conference. Today you conduct the press conference. Now, why did he invite APJ Abdul Kalam to conduct the press conference? Please, any one of you, literally. He wanted to credit his team. Um, team. He wanted to credit his team. Any other wise? He was a true leader. He was a true leader. Uh, any other, any other, please? I want your help. <clears throat> what did he invite? Good team influencer. Good team influencer. Listen, go back to the scenario. When something was wrong, he conducted the press conference. When the team was unsuccessful, he took he the responsibility. He took the ownership when the team was unsuccessful. It is my fault. But the, when the team is successful, he did not say he did it. He told Kalam, please come and do the press conference. You are the man behind this. This is what the true leaders do and develop people. It was Satish, the one who developed that leadership in APJ Abdul Kalam. Do we have energy to do this? If something Right is in the school. We put our slaves. I have done this. Boosting so proud of ourselves. If something gone wrong, teachers come to the office. Why 30 marks in the mathematics? You didn't teach? Such so a shame. The school work on system. The school doesn't work on teachers. This teacher is lazy. What you are doing? People, can people be bad? Or it is your school system that does not allow people to sign and rise up to their potential. And when some good things happen, only one song you can sing. I, my, me, no other song. So whenever good things happen, credit your employees. This is a true sign of leadership. Whenever bad things happen, take the credit. I am to be blamed. I am to be blamed. If you can do this, I think you will be a wonderful leader. But our human nature doesn't allow us to do this. If you do this, you will produce kalam in the form of a teacher. So, my humble request, all of you, is to give credit to the teachers when something good happens in the school. Okay, just read this. And answer, no need to answer. We don't have time. We are running out of time. So I cannot do this, all these things. But I'll read it. I'll give you two, three, four minutes, minute time. You can just answer by your heart. Or one of you can voluntarily also help and help me. Do you easily get teachers to volunteer for additional do you easily work into the classroom and teacher discussion do you spend a day day of your day or so do you always do you encourage teacher to provide suggestion do you regularly surprise teachers with the random act of violence or any question? Well, be done. Next one. Mm. Do you make effort to learn a student background? 
Do you focus more on solution than problem? Do you encourage your staff to attend conference training and visit other schools? Do you positively talk about you with staff members? Do you ever? I think you have gone through this. I think no need to explain because the answers you have in your heart. No need to tell us, no need to inform us. So the answers may be positive or the answers may be negative. But I think you have the answers in your heart. So these 10 things. I think if you have the positive answer, at least five positive answers. So your school is on a very, very good high note, flying. Like aeroplane. But if you have more than five negative answers, if you are true to yourself, so I don't have time to do all these activities today. I'm so sorry. So being a leader, so from this episode of the Kalam and this slide, what I point out is the six words you need to know, I admit that I made a mistake. The five words you need to know, I'm proud of you. The four words you need to know, what is your opinion? The three, the, the, the three words you need to know, if you please, the only two words you need to know, thank you. And the only one word you need to know being a leader is we. I will need one more. I never. So six words, five words, four words, three words, two words, one word. The only six words you need to know is I admit I made a mistake. You will be a wonderful leader. The five words, I'm proud of you. You will be a wonderful leader. So I have hung this in my office when I was the principal. So I, always, I remember this and put it here. But some of you might not be us because you, we humans, we are with different qualities. Some of you might not have a very good degree. Some of you might not have very good language. Some of you might not be brought up in that good school environment to learn something, but still you can be a great leader. Trust me. If you have got no talent at all on education also, I have seen people who have become great leader. I have been to government schools, so many government schools now, they have transformed their schools into Nepal's renowned, renowned schools. I have seen the principal there, primary school principal being the primary school teacher, being the principal of the school and transform the school. You can Google Narayan Sikdel, you will know what he's doing in this school. You can Google Narayan Sikdel from Surkhet. So many principal like this I have met. So if you follow these eight things, you don't need to be talented to be a good school principal. Time. Do you need a Cambridge degree? Do you need an Oxford degree to follow the time? To value the time? Do you need to be first division in masters, masters in education leadership from KU to follow the time? Oh, it takes saying the right thing doing the right thing. Do you need MPhil to say the right things? Do you need hundreds of trainings to say the right thing, to do the right thing? It takes effort. Do you need first division to put effort on something? Do you need first division to put effort on something? Do you need to work in a very good renowned school to put effort on something? Trust me. The heavyweight till now in the world, it was lifted not by a bodybuilder, but by a mother whose son was under the car tire dying. She lifted the car. Where does that effort come from? We humans, we cannot resist more than 12 decibel of pain. But when a mother is giving birth, she has more than 20 decibel pain. How does she resist? Why don't she die? Effort. Body language. Do we need, do you need to be extremely talented to produce a very good body language in front of others? Do you need to work in good schools to show this body language? Do you need to be the product of James and Buddha Hilanda to show our body language? Anyone of us can show. Charlie rule the world with the body language. Okay. Energy. 
positive attitude. Anyone can have positive attitude. Do you need the learning theories to have positive attitude? Passion and preparation. If you have these things, even if you are working in a small school, you can make a school big. Even if you are working in a small school, you can make a school bigger. You don't need Cambridge certificate. You don't need Oxford certificate. You don't need KU certificate. You don't need to be first division distinction to lead a school. You just need to do the same things. If you sleep in one of these, no matter how much charity you have, from where you have got degrees, forward you get your friend will be flat. Talent, it always come from unlikely places. I always say this talent, it will always come from unlikely places. Nobody knew Pele before 1957. You know, 1967, December 3, I remember the date. US government, British government invested millions of money for heart transparent, so many training, so many doctors working on it for years and years. But that night, a miracle happens. This heart transplant was found by a very, very small doctor in South Africa, Johannesburg. Because he did these eight things. So you can transform your school. If you have this, being a leader, follow these eight things. So I'll just talk about some I'll, I'll just talk some practical things very, very fast. So never forget birthdays and holidays. On school days, you celebrate the birthdays, but some unlucky teachers, they have birthday on Saturday. We that day also celebrate that day also. Solution, don't think you are the leader and you only have the solution. If any problem come, organize a discussion group to solve the problem. Some teachers make principle for the day. One day you teach, you go to the class, you stay in the class, you teach and tell one teacher, today you take the responsibility once a week. But we are afraid. Our theory says we should be far from the teacher. Teachers should not be our friends. Offer them a day and see how they will in school. How empowered they will become. Please, my, I humbly request, uh, please unmute, please, my dear friends, uh, I my request, please. And organize book talks, journal discussion, education journal discussions. At least five journal discussions, education, on new education research. Few schools are doing nowadays. I'm implementing this program in three, four schools at the fund, the educational journal and research discussion among the teachers. Wonderful. They'll feel the school has got something. Even you can organize a challenge show for the faculty. Uh, a wonderful idea what the uh, Delhi school is doing, Kizariwal is doing. I'm so impressed by his philosophy. Use different area of school using the staff member name, football ground. Ravi Sars, football ground, a big name. Tennis court, Sabitra Ma'am tennis court. Capteria, Prem Sars Capteria. Wonderful idea, the teachers were so happy. So I asked one of the teachers, so for 10, 12 years, I have been working in this school. This day was the happiest day in my life when I got the area of the school in the name of a teacher, in the name of the staff. So that brings the ownership. Meetings do include door prize. The teachers had meetings. No agenda. Last hour calling for the meeting. The teacher is rushed to go home. 3.50 and at 3.55 a call comes. Today meeting the retired teacher. Oh my God, meeting. and separate library for the staff development. Put 10 books, no problem. Put 10 books, no problem. But there should be 
Teachers Development Professional Library in the school, where the educational research books should be there. The journals should be there. Books related to learning should be there, separate. I see most schools, no library. That is not a school. Without library, is not a school. It is a business. It is to teach, to cheat the students, to cheat the parents. It should be closed. Any schools without library should be closed immediately. At least they need to have 2,000, 3,000 books in the schools. Then only you are allowed to open the school. The core heart of the schools, they don't have. The classroom, the teachers does not make a school. A library make a schools. And we are blindfolded of this. So many schools, no library, no professional development workshops. And positive opening and closing activity every day in the morning and in the evening. So that the teachers, after a tiring day, they will go home with a very big smile. A form. Now I have started this also in a few schools. In Dang, I have started this. What will make your job easier for the teachers every month? What will make your job easier for? They will have you. You can design coffee marks with the school logo and the staff member's name. You can give them, it will just cost 50, 100 rupees. Give them a cup to drink tea with the school logo and their staff member's name. How happy they will be. Hail a meeting where gathering where you are not allowed to talk about the school. Classroom, teachers, parents. They talk, yeah, that gathering will be apart from the school talk. So when I was the principal, I used to do this program. So I used to invite them at the end of the month, maybe finally gathering. In that gathering, there will be no school talk. So it was the World Cup time. So the gathering will be, we will only talk about the World Cup. So organize some gathering. The teachers are tired of meetings only. Meetings about parents only meeting or student only meetings about teaching. And our meetings, most of the meetings, they are more focused on administrative thing, not even the teaching learning mechanism meetings. Just 90% meeting about administration. This, that, this, that, no meeting, no gathering about the teaching learning mechanism. This is also the problem in the schools. So allow staff to visit other schools and identify promising practice. This is needed. We need to learn. Every day we need to learn. We even don't know. I even don't know. You even don't know. The world is so vast. Even Thomas Elva Edison said, he said, I know not even 0.00% of the world. So we are same. We don't know. So one school is doing this and the teachers are really happy. Reeves school, it is in this near Thancourt is a very good, wonderful school. So cover a teacher's class for a period. Today, the teacher says he has six periods. So surprise him. Teacher, today you sit. One period, I will take you. Period. The teacher will be so happy with the principal. No? So surprise. Take his class. Surprise. Because the principal need to take the class sometime. So these are a few basic things which we need to do in school, which most of you might be uh, doing also. If you are doing, it will be a very wonderful thing. Now I request all of you, if you can please open your video. We are doing another activity. Or take a paper like this. I have also taken, take a paper like this. If you have, please. Yes, if you can. This is the activity where everyone need to see. Okay, if uh, you open your video, I'll be very, very wonderful. Yes, good. I see one. Uh, last ones are very good, wonderful. Please, ma'am, Sistina, ma'am, Sada, ma'am, help me out. I need your help. You can ask your kids also to bring the paper if it's not in your side. Okay, so for this, follow the instruction. What it says, fold it into three. Fold it into three. One. Two, three, pull it into three. Yes. Krishna, sir, please, pull it into three. Okay. 
अब नाउ टियर आउट स्मॉल लाइक दिस टियर आउट स्मॉल फ्रॉम टॉप राइट कॉर्नर टियर आउट स्मॉल फ्रॉम टॉप राइट कॉर्नर टियर आउट स्मॉल लाइक दिस टियर आउट नो प्रॉब्लम इट लाइक आई टियर आउट टियर आउट फ्रॉम यस टियर आउट फ्रॉम टॉप राइट कॉर्नर गुड नाउ अगेन फोल्ड इट इनटू टू नाउ अगेन फोल्ड इट इनटू टू इज ऑलरेडी थ्री नाउ फोल्ड इट इन टू One. Now you have already fold three. Now fold into two. Make it smaller. First you fold into three. Now you fold into two. It will become very small. Yes. First three. First three. Tear from the top right corner. Tear from the top right corner. No, no. First make a first fold it into three. Puna ma'am, first fold it into three. First one, two, three. Then tear from the top right corner. Then again fold into two and tear from the bottom right corner. Okay, is it fine, Sarada ma'am? Show me yes. Show me yes. Open, open it and show. Everyone will see. Open it, open it. Open it, open it, please. Uh, so clearly, so you didn't tear the paper. Did you tear from the top right corner? Yes, sir. I tear once, one time only. Well, no, you need one to tear time. two times. You need to tear two times. No. What did I say? From the first top right corner times. and from the bottom right corner. Yes. First three times. Good, good. First three times. Then tear <laughs> from the top right corner. Yes. Tear from the top right corner, and then again two times. Fold it now. Fold it. Yes. Show me, Punam ma'am. Show me yours. It's so small. No, no problem. If it's small, no problem. Just open and show. What's safe, Sarita ma'am? You can show. Look, look at Sarita's ma'am. Good. Good. Very good. Very wonderful, Sarita ma'am. Good. Very good. Who has drawn? Please show. Look at Sarita's ma'am. Everyone. Uh, look at Krishna's Pandey sir. Show me. Show me, Krishna sir. Please up. Let everyone see. Good, Sarita ma'am. Good. Who else? Davat Asi sir. Omar Vijay sir. Good. No, I mean to say, look, Sarita ma'am, Punam's ma'am, Krishna Raj Pandey's paper look completely different. Paper look completely different. Sarita ma'am has six whole year. Six whole year. Krishna Pandey three whole year, three whole year, right? The instruction was same from my side. The instruction <laughs> was same from my side. You can see the instruction was same from my side, but every one of you, of your same, it come different. It come different. Sarita Ma'am is different. Krishna Raj Ma Sorry is different. Puno Ma'am is different. If Nirla Sorry is doing, it will be different. Yes, Mirita, ma'am is different. Show me, Mirita, ma'am. Show me, please. <laughs> no need to feel shy. Show me. Is it different or is it the same? Is it different? Look, look. <laughs> is it different? Look. So, so the same instruction, the same instruction, but different outcome. The same instruction, but different outcome. It is the problem of most of the. schools this is the basic problem because instruction we give one time to all the people but they will perceive is different i think there is some problem in the communication pattern inside the schools i think being a leader you need to be very very effective in communication so that everyone of them will perceive the things very very nicely so i call it pgu so because you are a principal some teachers may come to your room and they may some gossip they may talk about other teachers uh, they may call you uh, this teacher is good or this teacher is bad they may they may, because we are human we want to be close to the power so there will be three four teachers around you whom you like and whom they like so it is human tendency you cannot like all teachers equally so Do you should, but tell people. So if they come with 
any information same like aristotle what this i call this tgu formula first link if it is true if you talk about someone if it is true first formula second formula if they want to tell you something tell if there is any good thing in that message what you are telling me is there any good thing about the people whom you are about to tell me the good thing and the third thing is it any useful for me is there anything you are going to tell any useful for me if it is true if it is good it if it is useful and if these three things are not there in the message then tell him or her then if these three things are not in your message why you are telling me this don't tell me this so your every message should be true your every message should be good and your every message should be useful to me only take those messages being a leader sometimes we are guided i would better say misguided by the teachers by the team we are only surrounded we call this mushroom theory of management we are only surrounded by the certain number of people so the communication won't work in this way so we need to focus on this thing also being a leader so i didn't go to this slide so okay so uh Sarada ma'am, so I have seen you. Uh, you are just below me in my screen. So just a very simple task to help me out. So I think you all know the this Mumbai attack in Taj Hotel. Mm. The Mumbai attack on Taj Hotel. So yes. this was a very very yes, severe yes, attack yes, by yes. the terrorists. I think so. I don't have time to show the video. So I had a video, but I don't have time. So we are running out of time. So very fast. I want to go. So a wonderful thing happened. it has been the subject of research uh, which is used even by harvard university uh, wonderful research when that attack happened the employee they did not leave the hotel they did not run away human seal they make a human seal the guest they are behind the employee an imply got the sort they were ready to kill themselves but they did not let guest die human corridor they take the guest out being in the front not a single employee leave their work leave their station the telephone operator was there where there was the telephone the fire guard was there where there was the fire guard a oh, very wonderful scene and this become a old famous resort what these taj hotel did the employee they commit their life they sacrifice their life they died but they protect the guest hotel guest it become a subject of good research what did the taj did to the employee how it motivated the employee they are ready to die look at our school our teachers are they ready to die for us they are not even ready to take a class very seriously which we are paying every month so uh, sharada ma'am so yes, sir. yes so what did the taj have done so that the employee performed so heroic for the hotel i think the, uh, that uh, yes, what no, did that, the taj hotel might have done maybe yes. but they have treated their staff also uh, they, they have not discriminated yep. their staff staff fairly they and have not discriminated their so yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yes good wonderful uh, any other voice from my dear fellow teachers please yeah uh, the, uh, yes sir yeah uh, as i yes. knew about this uh, case that uh, tata groups uh, choose their employee from the very uh ruler area but they choose the people with uh, high attitude the people who want to learn the people who want to bring change in them and the tata groups uh, give a lot of trainings uh, for that and when the uh, when the small people from the small town um just enjoy the self uh, dignity power and then it came uh, like a Uh, taj uh, employee i think it's is whatever i knew about the taj and the tatas 
uh, oh, like very good from... very good wonderful ma'am i think uh, this you may have heard from other other trainers also so my training is always resource based my almost all trainings and i never repeat the content whatever i give you today mm. i'll never repeat it again another day i have this train but uh, sometime when giving the slides is circulate so mm. now this thing has been used by so many trainers in nepal also mm. but the real thing is the recruitment process how yeah, recruitment. we recruit in the yeah, schools yeah. yes process. what minimum has said 100% correct Taj Hotel, they never, they give so much emphasis on the recruitment that who will work in the Taj Hotel, they select 10 years before. They go to a very remote school. They go to a very remote school. They will select the most decent student. They will bring the student in the city. They will educate him. They will give food and clothing to him. They will give even monthly allowance to him. And after eight and 10 years, after developing him, after training him, after making him a better human, then they are allowed to work in the Taj Hotel. It does not select it employee from Cambridge. It does not select his employee from Oxford. It does not select first division distinction mark employee. How much effort the Taj Hotel has put on recruitment? Look, and this became the old famous resource in education. How you recruit your staffs? Most schools, they are run by the daughter. Father is the owner, daughter is the principal. Husband is the investor, wife is the principal. It doesn't mean that the wife should not be the principal. It doesn't mean that, but she should be capable. If capable, it's fine. Maternal uncle, we call Sali Bena in Nepal. I found one school. Bena was the investor. Sali was the principal. Very good combination. So how we recruit our school? It's teachers. So there should be some rigorous recruitment process in the schools. Uh, I think if we can work on this, at least the student won't be betrayed. So I went to a wonderful school in Hetauda. If some of you are here from Hetauda, 8.30, the founder want to enter the gate of the school. It's the Tulsi Muir School. I reveal the name. 8.30, the founder want to enter the school in the evening. The investor, the gatekeeper stopped him. Sorry, you cannot. It's 8.30, after 8.30, without emergency, no one can enter the building. That school name is Yetoda School of Management, sir. No, it's Tulsi Mayor School, sir. It's a Tulsi Mayor School in Yetoda. Tulsi Mayor? Okay. Uh, yes. Look. Because of the recruitment process. So, these little things, these are little things that will make a wide impact. Has the owner of the task failed that I need one day, this day will come. One day, someone will shoot our hotel, some terrorists will attack our hotel. So I need to develop employee for 10 years. Has the thought like, no. They are so selective in the recruitment process. So these little things make a, a very, very huge, huge impact in any organization. So. The, at last, so I have some, I think we are, at last I want to say something, uh, I'm already through, it's already eight. Edmund Hillary, the first man who climbed the Everest, along with Tenzing Norge Sirfa. So after he succeeded in climbing the Everest, so there was a very big program in the UK, he was from New Zealand. The Queen Elizabeth, she told him, she will give saw Grand Cross Award to him. So he went to the palace. It was all red carpeted. And he was invited to speak something. And there was a very big Mount Everest portrait put. He was about to receive a medal. When he was invited to the front, he looked at that portrait, at that picture of Mount Everest. And he said, Mount Everest, I tried to conquer you before but I could not. 
But look, today I have come to cure you. I am so happy. I tried before I could not, but today I can cure you. I am so happy. And Mount Everest, take cure. Again, I will come and can cure you. Again, I will come and can cure you. Because as a human, I can grow. But as a mountain, you cannot grow. But as a mountain, you cannot grow. As a human, I can always grow. So life, teaching, principle, leadership is all about growth as a human. You can grow as much as you can. You can maximize your growth. You can maximize your growth. My humble request to all of you, learn and grow. Make your school grow. And I hope I'll be able to see your school name as one of the best schools in Nepal. I think that will be uh, the happiest day, not only for you, but for me as well. So these two hours, uh, I'm not sure I was so big. This is the, uh, this helps to at least breeze you, know you people more. I'm so happy and there's so many things, but I think because of time, so I think I'll conclude my session. So anything, Nirla sir will handle. Nirla sir, please. Hello. Okay. Th thank you. Thank you, Sunil sir. Uh, although we know each other so much, uh, I think we have not heard each other's session so much because we are both busy <laughs> talking to our own <laughs> group of people. But today, actually, it is a big food for thought. I don't know uh, if you have any questions. We have, uh, we have run out of time. But uh, uh, it's uh, a big food for thought. It's a reflection. I think um, if we really reflect back to what uh, uh, Sunil said, I think we can get into a lot of uh, you know, issues and maybe we can identify the issues, then we can uh, rectify the issues. Uh, even I had uh, similar kind of an experience in schools, what Sunil said, and I don't want to tell anything now because uh, it's really, really horrible. Some of the schools are really horrible. I used to tell uh, in workshops, I, I, I give the examples of horrible schools. Uh, they call it a very qualitative school and they're giving quality education, but uh, a lot of lot of issues there. And uh, one school I went, I worked in one school as a consultant for 15 days only. It was a contract for 15 days. And uh, he, he huh? then I had told him that he should, you should, that he should listen to me once I make suggestions. In uh, four or five days time, I listed out 35 issues. It's not only academic issues, a lot of non-academic issues, school canteen grounds and all that, you know, classrooms and teaching aids and staff room and dress and things like that, even the reception kind of thing. And when I gave the list of the things, uh, he was not happy. Sadly, he was not happy because I pointed out all the wrong things. Because as a consultant, we have to really go into things and see whether some of the things are good, if the things are good, we have to make it better. If there's a zero, we have to make it one. So a lot of people don't want to change. Uh, so I think I also talked about a change process uh, and change dialogue among the teachers and management. And to become a leader, I think you don't really have to really study hard and you, have to, you don't have to really do a big management course. And I've seen that people who have done management course from different universities have failed because they have not the right attitude. But you see little girl called Greta Thunberg. You know, she is leading the whole world now. Uh, on every on Friday, all the Fridays, she has a climate strike and the climate change. She's fighting. She has uh, drawn the attention of all the world leaders. So you don't have to really become very big and you know, study very high degrees and things like that. But it's all the attitude and something that you have to internalize. That's what I feel. So. Uh, yes, uh, there are so many problems in the schools. I think uh, we can identify, but we have to work on those issues then then, then rectify uh, things. So thank you so much. So uh, if you have any questions, just one or two questions, uh, we can have a direct link now. I, as I told you, we're already connected. I'm already chatting with some of the, the participants here from Pokhara and things like we're already connected. So I'm trying to send a few things that are whatever I have. Those have connected with me, all the online training links and things like that. So free training and some 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 paid training. So we can always uh, start working, uh, linking up together and 
um, being in close connection. So it's, it's not a big thing because virtually we can connect. So if you have any questions, one or two questions, then I'll, uh, I would like to request Sarada ma'am to give a kind of a wrap up note and thanking and things like that after one or two questions, if there, there are any. Uh, excuse you, me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Krishna, sir. Uh, I don't have any questions, but I want to say something. Uh, <laughs> the way sir present is uh, very better. Hmm. Very better. Uh, you present everything with the help of history. And if I want to remember the whole program, I just have to remember five or six stories. Yeah. yeah and yeah, remembering yeah. that five, six stories is very easy for me. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so I you, like the way yes. of. Uh, Present, yeah, present. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Sunil, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So storytelling is one way that we can always use in, uh, for the children and for students. Yes. Yes. Some of the things can be done very wonderfully well through stories. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you, uh, Isfarma and team and Sunil, sir. And there are so many questions running in my mind, but uh, as we already know, there's a uh, time is running out i already uh, told a few days ago even today and i fill up the form and i feel back that the time is so so short because uh, the subject selection is very good from the all your team thank you for so much for that the the question here is mostly this uh problem is each and everywhere every school in the in Nepal, mostly in Nepal areas that I found, but um, more or less, this is uh, addressed to the private school that I I feel, because like uh, you are the principal, your principal has to do this. You are the owner of the school, then principal. That how can we change? How can we handle the government school in? Uh, the remote areas. I don't know, somehow in uh, the city basis area or in Kamandu. In, in Kamandu, there's so many colleges uh, running under the politics and then the students are only doing some Nara Zulus. And, and do okay, Dawasar, Dawasar, please. I, I, I got your intention, right? We are connected on Facebook also. So uh, any queries, I can even call you and tell. But for your short uh, regarding your query, the because since uh, most trainers were from the private school, so I tried, or maybe other trainers also tried to address their issue or concern. So regarding the private uh, schools, we are more little bit of autonomous because the government schools, the rules, regulations, all things they are monitored by the government. They are monitored by the government. Uh, so, but it's still uh, so many organizations, so many people, individual people also they are aligning with the government school, government skills to change uh, the teaching learning pattern or whatever mechanism is uh, there. Uh, so wonderful efforts are going on. So I think if you need some suggestion or advice, definitely I have your number also. Uh, maybe uh, something you may have known, something I may have known, something Nirlasar may have known. We can share it, Davatasi, uh, so I'm 100% sure I'll give you some time regarding this. Today is already 8.15. So uh, regarding this, we can always call. I'll call or you call or email through whatever. So whatever concerns you have, I will definitely uh, try to help you out with these issues if I know something about it. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you so much, sir. And at, at, at the end, that I would like to say thank you all of you. And uh, as, as, as I told, as uh, I'm going to take a few minutes, I, as, I, as I told that I'm a mountaineer and then I had an accident. After, after that, I, I started a little business beside of the, my mountaineering. That's, uh, if you go to the, my Facebook page, it's called Dawa Gear, which is a clothing brand in Nepal. We have to promote our brand. So that I res do respect that so many schools, so many principals, so many school owners. Please, if you need any in uni uniform, of course, you have to spend money. So why don't we use with non-people if you, if, you, if you want, if you can. I'm not pushing you. I also I also have a manufacturer uh, company that I can give you a sample, and then uh, uh, slowly I'm growing up. Thank you so much for everything, and uh, hope to see you and join for the next session or whatever it is. Uh, well, thank you, thank you yeah, so thank much, you, thank, you, thank, thank you, so much. I think we have to promote each other because this is is a promotion. These are 
yesterday, you know, so branding and all like that, we also learned about because we do a lot of good things, but people don't know. So it's good to know that Dawasar has a good uh, brand uh, clothing for children also you can make and, and for, on order. So yeah. uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Sapurna ma'am, all the team here. Um, uh, because as a 21st century teacher, I think we need to have so many skills, so many skills. Just one skill will alone will not do. That's what we realize. And at the end of so many years of my work in school, still I'm unequipped. I'm not fully equipped, I think. So it's always something new is coming. So we have to really get uh, in touch with all these kind of uh, new things and to adopt, adapt and you know, apply and, you know, reflect so many things are there so thank you so much for joining this uh, six days it's a very long uh, six days is not a joke because six days giving time you have given time so we are so uh, thank you so much for that so please uh, if you have not filled up the form please fill up the form because uh, we need this uh, for our own uh, evaluation and also for the certificate part because the names will not be uh, right if we just we blindly one letter can make a difference and now at, at last, I would like to now uh, request Sarada ma'am to uh, uh, just uh, give a kind of overall impression of the whole workshop and then uh, wrap up things. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would like to, you know, thank you entire uh, the team first because, because of your, you know, like ideas that we also have some ideas about this field, but we are not so eager to know, like uh, research. We also think that we know everything. <laughs> no, we know everything. Then we have taken so many training. What is the news? Uh, what is the <coughs> use of now other training also? But during a source said that this six days is too long. But for me, and I think for others also, it's not too long, sir. <laughs> it's too short for us, you know, uh, like uh, first day, I, when I heard, uh, you know, like uh, when I got chance to hear uh, Purnima, ma'am, you know, that first day, you know, th that was the day that I should stay for the whole, you know, like six days. I should not miss out, you know. Th that, that first day was so much, you know, like give me so much uh, eagerness uh, in me that now we should learn so many things because we are handling so small kids, you know. So, we are the one who are here also. They have opened their school because of this uh, traditional pattern. Somehow they want to end. They want to bring changes in our educational sector. And then they want to change something, you know, big changes in our, you know, places also. So then next to, uh, after learning neuroscience from the Dr. Purnima ma'am, I uh, was, I'm very happy. Then similarly to next day, Pradeep Sor also, do we do that kind of activities in our school, like learning by doing and experiential learning, we do. But even he has focus on some part that we were neglecting earlier. So I would like to thank to Purnima ma'am and Pradeep sir, and then even you, sir, <laughs> Parshuram sir, also, because that year you told me, uh, think that the, this is the last fish now to eat and the last drop of water. <laughs> you know, that, that small, small things also, you know, the, like realize, okay, we are running in where we have to run, but we are following the different track, you know, in, in educational also, okay, uh, we all are here to give good education, but somehow we are not following all the things because we would like to happy our parents and some rules and regulations. This all we have to, you know, take it together. So that is the things that uh, change, you know, like your word, last word, drop of water, tree and these and, you know, like money we do have, but what is the use of money when the nature is not there? So you are also very, very powerful, you know, that, that misses also. And then Neelam ma'am also, though we follow the integrated curriculum uh, in our school also, but even she has explained so, you know, her presentation was so good that I also realized to, you know, minimize something. And then we don't have much time. I, I'm so sorry, sir, because I have to include all. No? So Akila Basu ma'am also, I would like to thank. 
And then she said, I know like something, I have sent one message to her also, but I could not get reply for that because that was sent personally to her, learning disabilities and you know difficulties. I have taken so many training regarding these things, but uh, you know now, nowadays we are uh, you know like running online courses also for the small kids, and it was so tough. Be, uh, you know, even though it's tough, also we can bring smile on my three years, four years, five years, and six years kids. They are so much eager to you know learn because some changes we have to uh, bring, and then that we can bring after doing and after recalling our mistakes and after you know researching what we should improve that things also I got idea from that Akhila Basu ma'am and then of course the personal branding no that was I, I was totally that was new for me and then your title also 21st century uh, teaching is key that title really really attract me for then I called to Sunil sir and then you know I got lots of help from so, and then other source, I forgot the name, I'm sorry for that. Ran, Ranjan, I think something. But when I call, they immediately reply me. So this is the main reason that I, I am so happy to take, though I have taken lots of training also uh, that make me, you know, insist to, I should have taken this training also. Then leadership today's, and so, you know, sir, Sunil sir, thank you for that also. Uh, though we live in same, you know, place also, we do not have much, you know, talk. And today I'm totally busy since morning nine to here because, you know, so, you know, two, three webinars are going on and my kids, their separate, you know, session is going on also. So a lot of differences, you know, difficulties and sounds you are hearing. So I would like to thank all the entire team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, like uh, though, we all know, but even you realize us too, you know, we have learner, we have, we are learner and learning never stops. And this COVID-19 also during this period, you know, we are working. So this, uh, these are the chances that we are bringing. We are not saying that we cannot able to tease during these days. We can tease even two, three, yeah, you know, like three years children also. So, you know, for me, I don't have to advertise my school because my parents are so happy. They bring, you know, they come, they, they feedback, everything that makes me happy. Though I work since morning to evening, I'm so fatty and tired and sometimes very tedious also. But my children's, you know, smile on their face that really, really brings, you know, the kind of peace and kind of you know satisfaction in my work so i'm very happy and thank you entire team and personally the purnima ma'am i'm too you know attached with your activities that was i was expecting in next uh, you know days also but due to you know so much work and so much things we cannot do all together so that things i have mentioned on that form also so thank you thank you thank you to all of you for making us and then to bring eagerness in our, you know, uh, thinking to, you know, doing. Means I, I, would, I mean to say that not only thinking I will do, no, I have to do some changes where I am not thinking. Now I have to, you know, bring changes on that also. And let's work together, you know, that kind of strength, you know, uh, through your session that develop um, in myself. So thank you all of you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so thank much. You, thank, thank you, thank so you, thank 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 yeah, so sure. So uh, thank you all of you. Uh, the sessions were interactive. That is why we all enjoyed it. So without your all active participation, uh, none of this would have been successful. So I would like to thank all the participants and the team members who made this happen. And uh, especially I would like to thank all your family members who have allowed you to attend the whole six days. I know it's like three hours in the evening. 
your children your parents your family i think without their support this would not have happened so I, without the support of my family i would not have been able to be here also so i would like to thank all of you we will keep in touch this is just the beginning as parshuram sir told and yes. uh, i think we'll all enjoy learning together thank you all thank, thank you, you. bye bye thank you, thank you.